Hey guys, it's the Soul Clocky, and today inside of this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Goruptor, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of his current event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so Goruptor is a denier, and his traits are tough resurrection block and control immunity. His best trait is definitely his rank 3, so try to get him to rank 3. If you can, the other two traits are just kind of bad. And then his relics are Mask and Essence, which are actually really good relics. So yeah, great traits, great relics. Well, great traits if you can get him to rank 3, and then great relics. So yeah, pretty decent monster so far. Let's run down to the pros and the cons. So yeah, he has decent trait. He has good weaknesses because he's only weak to nature. And he has two ways to deny and corrupted, mega corrupted, and fear, which is pretty great. He also has random negative as being RNG means you can roll something great, which is really good but that is also a con because you could get something really bad and he has okay extra turn move and take it advantage which if we look down here it actually gives a random negative and an extra turn which is pretty good and then he also has a great speed which is pretty great and then his other cons besides the first one are lax per and trait disable access take advantage is anticipation bait which is very true and then he has a low life which honestly these cons are not too bad now let's go on down to his moveset. So he has the random negative extra turn. He also has an AoE and nightmares, which is pretty great. He has a self-control immunity with AoE random negative, which is pretty good. He also has a fear and nightmares. He has a stamina leak. He has an AoE fear and nightmares, which is pretty cool. He has an AoE mega corrupted with stamina leak, which is a really good move. And then he has an AoE corrupted with stamina leak, which is also pretty decent. So yeah, he actually has some pretty good moves. I like his moves quite a bit. The AoE mega corrupted is really good. And then of course he also has a normal AoE corrupted and he just has some pretty great stuff as well so this is definitely a pretty good denier he's definitely worth getting he's one of the better deniers that we've seen recently so yeah, go and try to get corruptor he seems pretty great definitely worth getting try to get him to rank three if you can because that is definitely his best trait and yeah pretty great monster go ahead and get him let me know down in the comments what you guys think of corruptor though and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye